Okay, everybody. We're going to play one more PS3 game as part of our Super Nintendo World Grand Opening Special. And this time it's Jeopardy. Let's see how we do. Let's have a good game. Please welcome our contestants. Player one. Player two. Player three. And now. Here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Clues are worth $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Medicine. USA. Inti Fresh. Washington, Lincoln, or Obama. Edgar Allan Poe, and Sitcom Siblings by Show. Okay, let's get back into this. Player one, you make the next selection. According to an 1833 description, Poe dressed entirely in this color. It's player one. Good. Player one's wife, who passed away at age 24, had this name, like the state at whose university Edgar studied. Yes, player one? That is correct. Player the first one? obituary of Poe, which spoke of the frailties of genius, appeared in this city's Sun newspaper. Player one? Good. We in 1842, Poe reviewed this British author's Barnaby Rudge, which features, hmm, a human-like raven. Let's hear it, player one. That is correct. Player Poe one. won an 1833 short story contest with a story about one of these found in a bottle. Yes, player one. Yes. Select again. Hue or die. Yes, player one. Right. We have a thin piece of rigid material to maintain a body part in a fixed position. Player one. Correct. You have a short race at full speed. Okay, player one. Right. You have a five-letter word for gleaming brightness or luster. Let's hear it, player one. Hey, you're right. To look with the eyes partly closed. Yes, player one. Yes. You again, player one. 
A cold that lasts longer than a week may indicate inflammation of these air spaces in the skull. It's player one. Good. Player one. And I'll hand it off to Sarah. Red blood cells are distorted into a particular shape and don't carry oxygen well in patients with this type of anemia. It's player one. Right. Player one. Suspect Rocky Mountain spotted fever even in patients from the Carolinas, as it's an area with lots of these critters. Okay, player one. Yep. A stent is a tube often used to hold these open, especially the coronary ones. Okay, player one. Good. The air puff test, a measure of eye pressure, is used to diagnose this condition. Okay, player one. That's correct. You again, Jody Sweeten, Candace Cameron, Mary Kate, and Ashley Olson. Yes, player one. That's right, way to go. Justin Burfield, Eric Per Sullivan, Frankie Muniz. Okay, player one. Good. Player one, Taryn Noah Smith, Zachary Ty Bryan, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Okay, player one. Right. Player Jason one. Jason Bateman, Will Arnett, Portia De Rossi. It's player one. That's correct. Ralph Carter, Bernadette Stannis, Jimmy Walker. Let's hear it, player one. Good. Player one. The name of the ukulele means flea in the native language of this state, where it was introduced by the Portuguese. Player one. That's correct. The state nut of Alabama isn't your kooky cousin, it's this thin-shelled pie ingredient. Yes, player one? Good. <laughs> Caroling to the animals is a holiday tradition at the Lincoln Park Zoo in this Midwest city. Yes, player one? You are correct. Player its one. state song says, follow the old Kit Carson trail until desert meets the hills. Let's hear it, player one. You got it. Alphabetically, this southern state's counties run from Adams to Yazoo. Yes, player one. That's correct. Please. Was born a British subject. Yes, player one. Right. We're the tallest. Yes, player one. That is correct. Player one. Never lived in Illinois. Player one? Yes. You went to Occidental College and Columbia University. Okay, player one? Yes. Here's the thousand dollar clue for you. Answer, the Daily Double. You are in the lead right now. Answer this. Received a patent. You have maintained your lead. 
Okay, we have player two in third place, which means that player two will go first in the double jeopardy round. And we have two daily doubles awaiting you in these categories. What can Brown do for you? The Civil War. Under the Sea. Moon R's. Literary Great Escapes. And what a TV character. Okay, let's get back into this. Player two, you make the next selection. As Mercury's period of this is about 59 Earth days. It's player one. Right. Okay, photos from Voyager 2 help spot this moon of Uranus that's named for the heroine of As You Like It. Okay, player one. Right you are. Saturn's second largest moon. It's named for the mother of the gods. Yes, player one. Anyone else? Here is the correct response. Rhea. You again, player one. There are the bright streaks of lunar ejecta flung from an impact crater. It's player one. That is correct. Player one. Answer. The first of the Daily Doubles. And you're in the lead now. Decide on your wager, player one. A clue from the German for rivulet. These trenches on the moon's surface probably carried lava. That puts you even further ahead. Select again. Sarah? At the 1863 Battle of Gettysburg, the Union's center line at Cemetery Ridge was hit by 12,000 Confederates who suffered 42% casualties in the skirmish known as This Man's Charge. Player one? Sorry, that's wrong. Any other takers? Yes, player three? No, sorry. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Let's hear it, player two. Hey, you win it. Player two, where do we start? Well, golly! He left his job and home in Mayberry to join the Marine Corps. Player one? Right. Player one, on the Adams family, he was married to Morticia. It's player one. Yeah, good. Pavel was the first name of this Star Trek character, played by Walter Keenig. Okay, player one. That is correct. During a dream sequence, it was revealed that this Richard Dean Anderson character had the first name Angus. Okay, player one. Right you are. Player Hardcore one. fans of Gilligan's Island know that this character's real name is Roy Hinckley. Player one. Is correct. Player one, you pick again. This national battlefield in Sharpsburg, Maryland commemorates the bloodiest single day of the Civil War. It's player one. Right. Sherman's campaign for this city took three months in 1864. Let's hear it, player one. 
That's correct. In 1862, Confederate General Beauregard wanted island number 10 in this body of water held at all costs. Didn't happen. Player one? That's correct. Player the hopeless one. mud march in a Virginia downpour ended Burnside's command of the force called this army. Let's hear it, player one. No. Anyone else? It's player two. That is correct. Player two, you start. He was Britain's Prime Minister from 2007 to 2010. Yes, player one? No, that's not right. Anyone else? We're talking about Gordon Brown. Player two, pick again. On December 2nd, 1859, this militant abolitionist was hanged for treason. Yes, player one? Right. All right, with his 12,313th rushing yard, he passed Jim Brown on the all-time NFL rushing list in 1984. Player one? All right. The GK in the name of this Father Brown creator stood for Gilbert Keith. Let's hear it, player one. You are correct. Player Harold one. Brown was this president's secretary of defense. Yes, player one? Good. You again, player one. In this 1852 work, Eliza makes a harrowing escape across a frozen river from a slave trader named Halley. Yes, player one? Hey, you're right. Player By one? clinging to the belly of a ram, this mythological figure escaped from the cave of the Cyclops. Player one? Yes. You, Henri Charrier recounted his numerous escape attempts from French prisons in South America in this work. It's player one. Yes. Player one. Answer. We have a daily double. You are in first place. Player one, please select your... Here is your clue. In the Deerslayer, this character escapes from the Hurons when Chingachgook helps to free him. <coughs> you have maintained your lead. Where to go? You Pangloss keeps his incorrigible optimism intact when he escapes an incompetent hangman's noose in this satire. Okay, player one. That is correct. Player one, we're flying past 10,000 feet on our way to this. The altitude will maintain en route 35,000 feet. Let's hear it, player one. No, that's not right. Any other takers? It's player two. Right you are. Player two, make a selection, please, as we continue. Here's Sarah. She'll show you. Ledger lines are for notes that don't fit on the five-line staff, like this note that can be shown one line below the treble staff or one line above the bass staff. 
Yes, player one? No, that's not right. Anyone else? Here's the response we were looking for. Middle C. Player two, choose again. The modern Hebrew and Arabic alphabets consist only of this type of letter. Yes, player one? Yes. Player it's one? the South American national capital city that fits the category. Yes, player one? Good. Now let's take a look at that $2,000 clue, shall we? Found in South Africa in 1905, this 3,106 carat diamond went to Amsterdam for cutting. Okay, player one. Yes. Oh, sorry, player three. You'll not be progressing to final jeopardy. Consider your wagers carefully as you think on this category. Poets. So, what's your wager? Here's the clue for you. Fired from a job for laziness, he wrote, I lean and loaf at my ease, observing a spear of summer grass. What did you put as your response? And this correct response will add well, no, I'm gonna to your score. Dollars. See you all for did you come game. up with the correct response? And that correct response will add... This makes you our new champion, player one. So congratulations. Good game, everyone. And thank you so much for playing.